We're pleased about uh, the 2011 results for, uh, for UCB. More than 300,000 patients benefited from Simzia, Vimpat and Upro. That's over 50% uh, more than uh, the previous year. So this strong growth of Simzia, Vimpat and Upro, together with a robust performance of Kepra really enabled our uh, revenue to um, increase despite the generic erosion on the several mature products. Um, that positive performance in 2011 enabled us to invest more and accelerate our spending in R&D as well as continue with the um, investments in our, our launches of um, Simzia, Vimpat and Upro around the world. So overall, our recurring EBITDA reached 683 million euros and our net profit over 220 million euros. That's twice as much as um, 2010. Overall, we're pleased again with 2011. We're clearly excited about the performance of Simzia, Vimpat and Upro and the momentum that exists uh, behind these three new products. And that makes us even more confident in our guidance of peak sales of at least 1.5 billion euros for Simzia, at least 1.2 billion euros for Vimpat and at least 400 million for Upro. 2012 is the last year really of UCB's transformation into a patient-centric biopharmaceutical leader. It's the year where um, the uh, Simsia Vimpat and Upro uh, strong growth uh, will still be needed to offset the uh, patent expiry from um, the, um, the remaining mature products and we're talking about mostly Kepra in Europe. But from there on, it's really paving the way for future sustainable growth, uh, which is taking over for many years to come. And that growth is clearly um, driven by not only Simsia Vimpat and Upro, but also uh, the prospect of our uh, new pipelines and also the prospect of progressing towards this breakthrough phase, which is going to be driven by bring to patients that suffer from severe diseases, breakthrough innovation that will transform their lives.